Nice. Good. There we go, five minutes and they're done. Flipping X is in the trailer. It's going straight to the abattoir, no messing. Morning, Holly. Here we are, we coming. Good morning, it is glorious sunshine today. Oh bro, mix your wagons in for uh, to make hen feed. Hopefully he's got enough in that shed because uh, we don't have access to the other shed to get more wheat. Ah, if you go round the back of that wee shed and kind of come up and through there. Uh, concrete for the foons on the extension to the back of the shop here. That's got a livestock trailer sorted. Concrete, they're just about ready to pour concrete over there. I've got my injection gun. Just need some of that medicine. A needle. Hopefully today's the day we get rid of that nutter of a cow. And the convoy's off to fetch a wild cow. All right, we'll get set up, get a squad bike off. Just need to shut the gate first, and then those cows and calves, we'll get them up the hill, and hopefully into the race first time. This will be the proof in the pudding whether uh, feeding them and attempting to train them up has worked. Okay, so Dad's just nipped back on the road because we took a few gates out of here the other day and we forgot to bring them back again, and we could do with them. So the grand plan is, cows and calves down there. Ideally, we'll get them all in in a one-hour, no issues, but that wild one that's in there, she's causing a lot of bother. She is, hopefully, if we get hold of her, she's getting loaded up into the trailer with a couple of other cows, taken to the abattoir, and she's gone. She's sausages. She's gone, she's done, she's causing havoc. Predictions down below. Are we gonna get this nutcase of a cow into the trailer? I hope so, I hope so. She's just a menace. Yeah. Part one complete. That went a lot smoother than the last time. They all basically went in first time, got them closed up. So now just to make things smoother, we're gonna try and get the wild one into the trailer uh, with another two. We'll see how this goes. In. Flipping eggs, she's in the trailer. It's going straight to the abattoir, no messing. Jesus, there's two of them in the trailer. So at the abattoir, we'll get the other single back, but jeez, she's a nutter, she's a nutter. Dangerous, just dangerous. Just need to sort out a passport for it. Need a passport to get, get it in the abattoir. Right, she's in, going straight to the abattoir. Not trying to get a peek in the trailer because, oh, she's just kicking it to hell. The cow is now in the abattoir. I'll show you when I get back to the farm how it um, got out the trailer. It's just dangerous to anyone handling it. I never got it too wild on a camera, but it was absolutely nuts. It is do lally, that thing. That is the worst purchase I have ever made by a country mile. I only bought it four months ago or something like that. Three months ago. And, oh, Jesus. I rarely get nervous in about the cattle, but in amongst her. When I was taking her off there, I thud, 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 trying to get this flipping cattle be split from the other one. She's bent the gate even further. She's split the cross beam across the top of the trailer. So I need to get a new one of them, put a steel one up now, not a wooden one. All right, there we go, we're back. Dad's been splitting off the cows, so all that's left is the calves and the bull's coming out today and a couple of cows just to keep the bull sane. Here we go, I'll show you the wild cows method of escape. Brilliant. Thanks, wild cow. There we go. 
Oh, I'm so glad to be back here with an empty trailer and a wild cow down. So she jumped over here, smashed that, way on here for a bit, then jumped back. So I quickly opened the gate. Oh, she's mental, 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 mental. All done. Missed most of that, to be honest, but anyway. They're all done. The bull, uh, we meant to keep that in, but dad forgot and it's out now, so. I'll get it tomorrow. Good. Not needing the code back at home again, so tomorrow morning when we bring in the bull, I'll need the code back, so I'll just leave it here and get it in the morning. Okay, all calves jagged, wild cow dealt with. We didn't get the bull in, we'll get him tomorrow morning. This was a brand spanker of a boiler shoot yesterday. Manky. Smashing. Picked the wrong colour on a day like this, it's absolutely roasting. Especially when you're charging about after cows. Right, let's get this fixed. I think the new one I'll be making out of steel. Just a like half a mil too small, which is really annoying. I've got this big chungus thing. This thing's rubbish, but it'll do to get half a mil. If you're ever buying bits like that, buy, buy the stepper bits, not those uh, tapered bits. Right, we're in. I just need to. Turn this round and line up the hole so we can get a wee an R pin through there. Whoever parked this van, brilliant parking. Just run to the pallets. There we go. Holes lined up so I can get an R pin through there. Um, need to do the same on the other side, but I'll take the bar off and paint it as well. There we go. Come on. Right, there we go. That's it painted. It won't take long to dry in this weather. Boys have been in here pouring concrete, they're just a fraction short. We thought we'd get enough from the concrete that's getting poured down around the shed at the moment. There's concrete getting poured down there, that's two sections of it done. But they were just fractionally not enough. But they've got their mixer with them, they'll mix up the rest. I don't know where they're short. There you go, that's where they're short. That's the last wee bit, they're not needing much in there. Cube or something. All this done, up here, down there. All the fins done, done and dusted. Round about the shed's getting done today, hot day for it though, and there's a bit of a breeze so it'll dry out quickly so that'll, we'll not be happy with that for it, with moisture coming out of it really quickly it gets brittle so we'll have to keep on top of it with the, with the water, but anyway these things happen. Dunk's in today, topping, he's been out over the last wee while. Dunk just keeps on top of all the grass round about, just when it suits him to come out and do it. Right, I just went and picked up some uh, R clips because couldn't find any in the workshop. So that's that job. So I'll go and put that bar on. The paint's still a bit tacky, but I'm just chucking it on and not fussed. Job done. I don't think even a wild one could break that bar. Maybe actually, she's a nutter. Harvest engineering back out and um, just fitting that valve. We've got a couple of sprockets to do and um, we've got a chain up here to replace as well. We're doing this afternoon and then a wee bit tomorrow morning and then that's um, done and dusted and the dryer should be good to go. We need the sparky to come out and uh, wire up new motor and um, a linear actuator up the top on a valve. Other than that, it's good to go. Hens, I need to nick down to the hens. Apparently one of the sheds is missing out on the water, so one get to the bottom of that why the hens haven't got water right there's water there it then runs away up into these tanks and then goes out along into the shed so i don't know why there should be an issue with that that's a weird one there's water here been in there's wee taps it seemed all right but i opened the taps up a wee bit but we've got water anyway someone asked for an update um 
on the new hens because I forgot to show them once they're in but all settled in fine they're just starting to lay a bit now two large eggs yesterday smalls and the mediums they're, they're kind of up to standard on them and they're just starting to come into large they take five weeks to ramp up to production hey pal I need that spud box just back doing one of my um, favourite jobs I don't know if I've ever mentioned but I hate painting mm. okay along num at yard number two um, Glenn rents some grass off us that he's got sheep and he's shearing a sheep so we're going to take our five ewes five ewes? I don't know we're going to take some sheep along there to get clipped fucking sheep got the trailer on the sheep are in it head along the road to yard number two there we go they'll end up looking like this short back and sides so that's one two three four who's escaped and five up there there we go five minutes and they're done five sheep oh you're not coming with us hey oh bloody hell job done literally in the gate five minutes ago. we're leaving the gate now Come on, man. Tell you what, the shearers make it look really easy. That is a hard day's work. Good on them. I have received a package. Come on, come on. Oh, oh you beauty. Look at that. Look at that. I've just been sent that from Rob, some of you'll know him. Fen Farming as a housewarming gift. Well, legend. He sent a few words, I'll read them out. One for the man the beast. Just because you've got a Fen, we've not got a Fen yet, it's coming. Don't forget New Holland. Cheers, Rob. That'll be going on my mantelpiece. I won't be forgetting New Holland's. We still have two out of three tractors, so majority New Holland's. Look at that. Wonder if the prop shaft will break on this one too. If you're not already, go and subscribe to Fen Farming. I'll put his link down there. Scott Agri Hats, uh, the competition. I've just put the video out today and all the comments are starting to roll in and the, it was to tell a funny joke and the best joke got sent a hat, so I've still not seen them all yet. So I'll tell you either tomorrow or whatever. You'll find out soon who's won the hats. There we go. Perfect spot for it. Cheers, Rob. I could hide neath the wings of the bluebird as she sings.